So when Rex is left in the big room, unattended, destroyed this whole rack, knocked over the small waterland tub that had the Chinese fox turtles in it. Luckily for us, our pet sitter comes in and checks on everybody and was able to uh, was able to write what she could, make sure these guys were okay. But we just moved them into a large waterland tub where they're going to be staying. But we're going to obviously uh, uh, change it around. We're going to put some obviously we're going to put some water in there. <laughs> some water in the waterland tubs. Um, but yeah, they're just in here temporarily until we get this whole thing set up. We're gonna set up this whole rack a little bit better. Yeah, we plan on moving them from that smaller one to yeah. this bigger one. This is anyway, small. but Rex is uh, Rex. Uh, he's bumping that up in our to-do list. So they're in here for tonight. Hopefully this weekend we'll be able to get this room set up. It's just an absolute disaster in here. It's making me a little bit neurotic, but it's making me neurotic. I'm calm. I'm You're calm. not calm. I lose sleep, but uh, we're going to move this whole rack over. We're going to put another waterland, a big pond, one of these big ponds where the waterland tub was over there. And we're going to put the, um, the Laguna over there next the to the Laguna. Laguna. We're going to put the, as we think the elongated and the little reds in there. There's six of those guys and they should do well in there. Um, and then we're going to move these racks around and we're going to put uh, Manny in this big iguana cage on top of the wood turtles and man eye and the yeah, Aralata's in here for now, but they're not staying in there. And we're gonna move Finnegan into something else because we don't like him in this glass tank. And we should have that done by next summer. Yeah. <laughs> so Bob's just gonna give these guys a squirt. We don't wanna to put too much water in there because we're just gonna be moving it anyway. So just wanna give them, the, they were traumatized today yeah, they <laughs> by were. Rex the dinosaur. Like an earthquake for them. Man. So but yeah. guys, we'll get you guys set up tomorrow. Sure will. And uh, they're active. I mean, they were fine. Like I said, I'm so grateful for our pet sitter. She checks everybody. She uh, notices everything. And luckily, she came in here to let Rex out. She, she's here for the dogs. Well, she came for the dogs, but she stayed for the turtle. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, we'll keep you posted on the setups. Wish us luck, please. Okay, so. Hey. Hey. So. We're moving the Chinese box turtles from this. After um, the, the other day. After, after Rex everything collapsed. trashed it. But we're moving them out of this smaller land tub and we're putting them in this waterland tub, right? Yeah, it's re we it's reversed, reversed it though. Mm -hmm. uh, usually this is supposed to be all, this is one of the waterland water tubs, not a land tub. This is a waterland land tub. This is a waterland water tub. I believe they're both mediums, or this is the large in, in the land. This is definitely a medium. Uh, I think it's like six feet long, 30 inches. Um, so last year we had our ambos in here, and, and what it's supposed to be set up is this all water and this small part here land. Um, but we set up our Chinese box turtles in a smaller version of this, the smallest version. They did great, but they... Uh, they outgrow it, so we had, we planned when, when winter came, um, when we did the setups inside that we were gonna change it up. So we took this big guy here, and we did basically the same thing. We used the side that's usually land, and we filled it up with water, and we took the side that was water, and we filled it up with dirt. So this gives them a lot more room, and, they, and like I said, they did great. We're gonna add a heater to this side um, when we need to. Uh, we also use this wire, you <laughs> see we use this wire mesh here, which we use for some of the iguana cages in there. We use this right here, as you can see, and we put this under the dirt here so it can't fall up. It just helps, it'll help them to get in and out of the water. And this goes all the way down and, and under about a foot. And we put a, we put a cinder block on top of it because we don't want them getting stuck behind it. So this way they're able to crawl out and in easy. They won't slip, right Sammy? So now, how does Susan want me to, oh, you got, you good there? Let's check these guys out. These guys are going to be shy. There's one. There you go, buddy. Hi, buddy. 
<laughs> Look at you, just all wide-eyed, so man. So just about That's a year old. Definitely a big. Bud, how handsome or pretty? <laughs> yeah, we got 2.3. Look at the plastrums, babe. They're beautiful. And one more. Oh, are you gonna hide? There you are. <laughs> Hi. Man, we love these things. These are the ones that are on loan from TSA. Oh, it's gonna go in the water already. Good, right, buddy. Go for a swim. Man, they love being in the water, but they do like the land. So originally, we had them when they were younger. We had them in a tank, and all uh, water. In all water, and we found that they were just constantly on the dock. So we're like, ah, eh, let's mix it up a little bit. And then we had them outside for a little while, but they didn't. They didn't appreciate it out there. And there's a cricket in the water already. Good, bud, you gonna take a dip? Yeah, so we'll get a heater for this. We threw some duckweed in there. We'll probably throw some um, little water lettuce in there while it's still while it's still alive. And Sammy's gotta see everything. He's in there, buddy. He's in there. You wanna bring some worms? Watcher. We got these worms are, right here. These you are see protector. Them them? These are protector. Yep. Yeah, they're probably gonna be. These are the uh, next. They're like me, Hmm. Where did that come from? <laughs> I dig this place. <laughs> He's gonna go in the water. Uh, uh, oh, right down the hole. <laughs> Get it. Try to fit two in your mouth. Come plunk. Yeah, so they got some rocks here to help them get out and the plants. <laughs> They're eating right away. Good. You want one over here, buddy? There's always one shy one. Uh, boy, once yeah. they start eating, they become... Can you get out? Absolute maniacs. Where's the fifth one? One, two, three. Can you hide already? Mm. Might be under there. You got one in the water, two there. That's so cool. Can you get out? Oh, that's good. No hesitation. They're eating right away. Let's see. Hopefully, you can climb right out. Grasp onto that little netting there. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. Come on. There you go. Almost there. <laughs> give him a worm as a prize. Because he's going to rip it out of somebody's mouth. Yes. They look so cool when they're wet. Look how, look how beautiful the shells are. Talk about personality. Hi. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Bird? Where are you? He's over there. Playing on the. What are you laughing at? Oh, he's yawning. Oh, no, he's not. He's just got dirt in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna push you in! <laughs> Cute. Yeah, we could probably put a dock in here or something, or one of those magnetic things. They want it to sit up there, or yeah, hopefully that rock. Hopefully, what we got in there is. There's a cricket in here. Yeah. Whoop. See that cricket. The cricket. You see that cricket right in front of your face? cricket over there. Where the heck they all coming from? Yeah, I don't know. This is a brand new enclosure. Oh, here's the other guy. Oh, there he is. Cool. Can you get out? Grab a couple more worms. A couple more worms. guy wants one. You want one? He got up himself? Yep. Yeah. 
You gotta love it when you set up a, an animal in a new enclosure and they start eating right away. Oops. There he goes. He sees it. Pow. Oh, did that guy find that other one? I must have crawled out the other way. Oh, did it? Busted. Oh. They all, they always <laughs> rather have the one that the other oh, you can't get guys it. got. Yeah, buddy. Here. Oh, Look at that guy See if he takes it from my hand. <laughs> that was the worst. There <laughs> <laughs> you go. Are best at that. So we spent all morning trying to move things Getting around, set this up, set up the yellow and reds, and we still have a ton more stuff to do. This is just one little. But this is what we we'd rather do is we'd rather hang out and Oops. feed them and check them out. There you go. Much more fun than building stuff. Okay. The other guy's in the water. No. <laughs> He's like, I'll take it. Now, now I want it. He's gonna take it. I want it. Oh, there you go. The other guy's coming out. Once they get used to being able to come out, and they can come yeah. out down the rock. Yep. I'm gonna just climb right up here. Tries to get away from one, there's another one. Uh oh. Oh, he's gonna go in the water. Gonna we'll go throw on. some fish in here too. It's cool. So that's their enclosure. Yeah, and we're happy with. Uh, and look at this mess over here. We still gotta. No, I'm not turning that way. Turn. I'm not turning that way. It's messy. Oh. All the tools slowly can start taking the uh, tools downstairs. Temporarily, we put uh, Philomena over here. She's so cool. You're so cool. We gotta get you set up better. We gotta get you set up better. And clean up all this wood. Figure out what we're doing with everything else. We feed the snakes. All right. Gosh, the rat is in the water, out of the water, and the worm. <laughs> he's so he's staying afraid. Now three of them are wet. Oh, that's good. And he's so afraid he just, he's trying to eat it. Now, he spent five minutes holding on to that worm, and somebody's just going to come. Take it, Colin. Take it. Oh, right in the crack. <laughs> All right, over and out. <laughs> 